today's tutorial, we're going to be making a basic head. This is a very popular head used in the jewelry industry, and I wanted to show you basically how we model it. We're going to take this particular head, we're going to make a 3D model out of it, and ready it for 3D printing. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is select a new file. So we're going to start up with a new uh, blank canvas and we are going to start by adding a mesh cylinder. So shift A to add, select mesh, down to cylinder. Let's give this some definition. I'm going to bring this up to 80, right about there. I'm going to hit the tab key under edit mode, select faces on our tools at the bottom, grab the top face and scale this up to make this kind of a cone shape. So I'm going to make it a little larger, right about there. Into the tab key, go back into object mode. We're going to duplicate this cylinder by hitting Shift D to duplicate, press Enter. Now I'm going to stretch the new cone up along the Z axis. So S, Z, and then use your mouse to stretch it up. We're going to size this down to get some width to the head we want to make. So I'm going to make my head uh, about this wide in perspective, perspective of the cutout cone. So with the cutout cone selected with the yellow frame around it, I'm going to hold the shift key down, select my head, and go up to the tools tab, go down to boolean features and select difference. Now we have a hollow cone, which we're going to use for a head. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hide that. So we'll come over to Cylinder and hit the little I, and it's going to hide that. I'm going to add a new cylinder now. So Shift A Mesh Cylinder. I'm going to rotate this along the X axis 90 degrees. R, X, and then you can press 90. Press enter when you're done. And here we have a cone, or a cylinder rather, that we're going to make some modifications to. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to size it along the Y axis. S, Y. Make that a little, little smaller. I'm going to enter tab, hit the tab key to enter edit mode. Select one face. And then we're going to narrow this down along the x-axis, just the face. So press S, then X, and then move your mouse into it until the mouse is about here. And that gives us a good cutout for the part we want to make the prongs with. <coughs> Excuse me. Go back to object mode, press the tab key. And what I want to do is create four more of these, but I want to mirror them so they look all the same. I'm actually going to pull up our head again. So come back over to the objects window here and uncheck the eye so that our head's there. I'm going to move this up and then back. I'm going to hit one and then nine. And we're going to scale this, we're going to make this a little, the cutout, we're going to make a little longer uh, vertically. So I'm going to hit S, Z, and I'm going to scale it up just a little bit, right to about there. And I'm going to move this up so that the center dot of our cutout is about equal to the height of the head. And just look at that around. That gives us a good, that looks pretty good. I'll make that a little bit bigger, right about there. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit. That's good. And now I'm going to make a little change to my head. I'm going to make that a little taller. So we're going to select our head. S, Z, and then I'm going to drag that just to make the head a little taller. And that's about where I want it. 
I'm going to bring the head down just a little bit, right about there. Okay. Now that we've got one cutout and our head all set, I'm going to select the cutout and I'm going to move this back to the center of the where the cursor is. So hit Shift S and then so selection to cursor. Moves it back to the middle. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to add a modifier to this and we're going to mirror it. So come over to the object tools. We're going to press modifier. I'm going to add a modifier. Click on that and then come down here where it says generate mirror. Select Z, turn off X, press tab to enter edit mode, press A twice to select all faces, and I'm going to press 7 to enter top view, and we're going to move that right about here. And now we have to move this up. Again, so we're about in the middle. Right about there. Almost a little more. There we go, right there. Okay, that's about where I want it. I'm going to hit tab again. Zoom out, zoom into the center. And now what I want to do is duplicate our cutout with the mirror. So I'm going to select it, which it's already selected. You can tell by the yellow outline. Press Shift, D, and then Enter. Now we know we have a duplicated cutout, so we're going to press R, Z, 90. And you can see here now we have two cutouts of the mirrored cutout. And if we look at our head, you can see that it's just the prongs are just a little bit too small. Let's go back and look here. We want to make them just a little bit bigger. And instead of making the head bigger, well, we could make the head bigger. I'll select the head. And we're going to hit S and then size it out right about there. I'm going to bring it down to right here. I'm going to hit 1 to enter pers the side perspective. And that looks good right about there. Okay. Now we have to apply the cutout to our head. This being our head, this being one cutout, this being the second cutout. We're going to select the cutout, either one, so it's got an orange highlight. Press and hold the shift key, select your head. The head's in yellow, the cutout is in orange. Come over to the Tools tab, down to Difference, and press Difference. And you can see we just cut an outline into the into the head of the object we're making. We're going to do the same thing with the second cutout. Select the cutout, hold the shift key, select the head, and then use the difference boolean modifier. And here you can see we've created a head. So this head is basically almost identical to the head that we wanted to draw or that we that we wanted to mimic. So I'm going to put that aside, come back to Blender, and to get a good view of what those looks like, <clears throat> we'll add a background, which I have here. We're going to give this a texture. So I'm going to come over to the Textures modifier with the head selected, and let's make this a metal texture, gold, and uh, let's Turn down the roughness just a little bit. Now this, oh, let's say 67 is good. And I'm going to hit zero for my camera view. I'm going to zoom in. If you're not getting these, don't worry. We're just going to take a quick look at this. And I'm going to render this. And you can tell by the rendering, it, it is pretty close to what we wanted. And that's how we make a basic head. Now, 
I'm going to close this, cancel this rendering out. We're going to zoom out a little bit, get rid of our camera. And I'm going to show you how to make this a little bit nicer because when we want to 3D print this for casting, it should be smooth. If it's not, we're going to get all these little ridges in it. So we're going to hit select the head, go to the smooth operator and the tools tab on the left. We're going to go over to the modifiers for the object. I'm going to add a modifier, select edge split. And here we get a much more well-defined object with much fewer ridges in it. Thanks for watching guys. That's how we do a basic head. We're going to do a few more of these uh, modeling tutorials for heads before we get into anything else, a little any, any more detailed. And um, I just want to let you know, you should save your files as you're working on them so that nothing happens to them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want, if you want to see more of our stuff, uh, please subscribe. And check out our website at www.myjewelrybench.com. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy modeling.